Meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is here now with the latest on Florence. Lisette. Well, we just received that 5 a.m. advisory. Lauren and Maribel, good morning to all of you at home. And the outer rain bands of Florence are now approaching and even impacting some of the North Carolina coast here, as you can see from our radar. And as we look at that advisory, yes, Florence weakened to a Category 2 yesterday, but it is still a large hurricane as you look at that storm size. It's moving northwest at 15 miles an hour. However, it's slowing down. And and that is going to be a big problem in terms of the life threatening storm surge and the flooding event that it's expected to be here through the weekend. So max is seen winds of 110 miles an hour. Florence is a forecast to approach the North Carolina coast later today as a category two likely either moving onshore, just skirting the coast later tonight or into tomorrow morning as a category one and then moving west as a tropical storm this weekend, Saturday into Sunday, a depression and an area of low pressure that is just going to soak the southeast. Hurricane warnings are in place for North Carolina coast and the northeast South Carolina coast. We have tropical storm watches and warnings extending in through parts of the mid-Atlantic, including Virginia. So the biggest concern is that storm surge, especially for parts of North Carolina. We could see six to 13 foot wall of water moving on shore. And then we have those potential for flash flooding because the rainfall totals expected anywhere from 20 to 30 inches, some isolated amounts, possibly even up to 40 inches of rain. So we're talking historic flooding. In the meantime, we're also seeing the potential for damaging destructive winds, especially for North Carolina, South Carolina. Tropical Storm Isaac is going to be moving across the Lesser Antilles today on that westward track. Now, some of the models moving it towards Jamaica or Grand Cayman as we head into early next week, certainly one that we'll have to closely monitor. Locally, we are mainly quiet with some clouds still lingering out there. It's warm with the low 80s across Broward, Dade and through the Keys. Now throughout the morning, there could be a few showers popping up here and there into the afternoon. The high around 90 degrees, hot and steamy. And yes, the potential for some spotty storms, scattered storms into the evening.